gentlemen, two men who will go head to head in the circle of truth. It is our first semifinal matchup of the tournament tonight. And we're underway. An immediate takedown. Erickson using his freestyle wrestling technique. And that's exactly what I expected from Tom, to come right in, get him, throw him to the floor. Now, remember, this is the same position that Erickson found himself in with the Russian fighter. Ah, but he's going for the choke a lot quicker this time. And this is a much smaller man than the 300-pounder, gentlemen. Yes, it is. He's cranking his neck. And there it is, right there. Neck one. Actually, what, what happened there, Erickson placed his forearm across the cheekbone of Peters. He was applying pressure, really, it's the second branch of the trigeminal nerve. Let's get technical. He's applied pressure to that nerve. He cranked his arm across his round set. Very, very painful. And Peters did not hesitate to tap the floor three quick times, and that means I quit. That's an exceedingly painful position to be in. Erickson did himself a great favor. That was a quick fight. It's over with. He'll get a chance to recoup before his next match. That's interesting because we were discussing how he did not really have a pinning combination in his first fight. This time, he didn't hesitate at all. Let's go up to the ring, and here is Chuck Hall. Ladies and gentlemen, at 31 seconds, there was a tap out. The winner of this elimination bout, Tom Erickson. Peters is done for the evening, and Tom Erickson will fight again. It's interesting. Erickson did not apply a traditional finishing hold. That was a painful finishing hold, but not a true choke. Look at this. He, he, he gave him a, maybe the little arm wrap, and then just went right for his midsection, guys, and just took him right to the mat. Ron, you said you expected this right from the very beginning, and you got it. You know, I watched Tom work out yesterday, and he's so fast, he can just move right in. It's over. Yeah, we've seen it before. Mark Schultz, uh, Coleman, these guys can take their opponents down virtually at will. And, of course, the end coming up right here, and there you see the elbow lock. Yeah, actually, it was, uh, it was across the front of the face, across the cheekbone, applying pressure to the nerve there. Extremely painful. 